Hey, Mitch. Hey, you're not. Um, there's something I've been wondering for a long time. What that... can I help you with? Yeah, what, what is a hacker? A hacker? A hacker to me is someone who does what they do because they love it. You know, whether or not it makes the money, they're doing it because they love it. They're really into it. Whatever they're enthusiastic about, they learn as much as they can, and then they improve upon it, and then they share it with the world. That's what a hacker oh. is to me. So it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with computers? Oh, uh, quite often it has something to, do, something to do with computers or tech, but not necessarily. It can be with food. It can be with photography, with video, with music. What's it like to be a hacker? Will I be as bad as a carjacker? Is it fun? Is it rough? Will I do illegal stuff? So this is my first time ever drawing an electrical schematic. There's a lot of cables and wires here, and what I'm doing is I'm finding the wires that connect to this motor here. What happened was the harness got caught on the rear axle. The axle came out of the dropouts right over here. The harness wrapped around and ripped um, the cable, so I had to actually rewire the whole harness. But what do hackers do? Oh, all sorts of things. I'm a hardware hacker. So um, I go around the world, I teach people how to solder with electronics. The really interesting stuff to muck with is underneath the epoxy here. <laughs> that would get into reprogramming it, or would it actually It wouldn't be reprogram like... it, but you can connect pins of the microcontroller to things they're not intended to, and then it changes the sound that comes out. I also go around, I help other hackers get hackerspaces going, because hackerspaces are places where hackers and people of all sorts can get together and, uh, you know, enthusiastically share and teach and learn whatever it is they love. We're in Noise Beach, we're 24 hours a day, seven days a week, open to anyone. Anyone can use the space and anyone can use any of the equipment here. Basically, everything you can see here is, is hackable. Probably not the bicycles, but um, pretty much everything here. You know, uh, the one I started, Noisebridge, Noisebridge, um, it's uh, a place that's like 5,200 square feet full Whoa. of people doing cool things. So we have a machine shop, we also have a sewing machine, we've got a little science corner. This is an electroencephalograph, not one of the most latest. We have a space exploration program where we can take snapshots <laughs> of the planet. This is the stuff for uh, Space Bridge. <laughs> space Bridge is, is our, um, our space exploration project and what it largely revolves around is sending telemetry from weather balloons. People can have opportunities to learn what they really want to learn to live lives they want to live. Now, you said that people in your hackerspace hack sewing machines and food? Like, what, is, what does that mean? Well, hacking doesn't mean tech necessarily. Hacking just means a way of doing things, so you can do it any way you like. You know what, if there was a sewing machine in front of you, you don't have to just sew the way your mom or your grandma or whatever taught you to do it. You can do it any way you want. What would you do with it? The project is called Pants Interface. Um, the particular thing that I'm doing right now is basically just making buttons, like momentary switches out of fabric. The silver part is conductive fabric. This is conductive. That's a technology control device, so there's a lot of uses you can use it for. This just sounds really good. It sounds nothing like what I've come to think of as a, a hacker based on what I've seen on the news and stuff. And The news will talk about things that scare us and they'll put the word hacker on someone who's doing something criminal, criminal with computers. But in my view, those aren't hackers, they're just criminals. You know, okay. there's criminals everywhere. But uh, at hackerspaces, people aren't doing things that are illegal. They're doing things that are really fun and teaching and sharing uh, and, uh, you know, making the world a better place in so many ways. So today I got, a, uh, I got an itch to solve some of our electric bill problems. We're solving this the hacker way, which is we need to have as much information as possible. And the way to do that is by installing power meters into the circuit breaker panels at Noisebridge. So when you flip on a light switch, you can immediately see the power change on the readings. It really sounds like you guys are just very smart and you're learning more about the world and sharing knowledge about the world and things that we come to take for granted or we are not encouraged to question as much. Yeah, and it's really important to question everything around us, you know, and that's one great way of learning is by questioning what we're seeing. It's like, is that really the way it is? Huh. You know, like here, you're asking me questions. You know, we learn <laughs> from each other. Well, thank you very much for, for answering my questions. Sure. I really do appreciate it. Glad I could be here. All right, geek hug. Mm. <laughs> all the code all around me. Hello world, now you found me. I can talk to machines, they know what I really mean.